questions? We're responding to a suspicious circumstance call. Evidently, some some individual went up to the person's house and, and was very persistent, wanting to demonstrate some type of a garden tool, uh, possibly trying to sell it. Um, around here, that's pretty suspicious because that might mean that he's trying to sell some stolen property, going door to door. Well, I have a truck here leaving the area. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. See, see if it might be the truck. Is this your truck, sir? Yes, it's my truck. Because we have issues oh. to discuss. Excuse me? What? All right, number one, the tabs are false. This, the registration on this truck expired in 2000. Number two, the reason why I'm stopping you, sir, is because uh, I got to call it that, uh, that there was somebody in a wider tan truck trying to sell some type of a garden equipment. Not me. It's a silver. Well, what is the issue with the registration of this truck? Probably a ticket that I didn't get paid. The registration to, oh, the, registration, to the truck? Oh, no. Okay. My wife. Okay. So you but, knew about but it? But I knew about it. I knew about it. What is the issue with your driver's license? I don't know. Well, there's a ticket, an unpaid ticket. Or maybe two tickets. Okay. Do you have any weapons or anything in the car that I should know about? No. You have any dope, any, I mean, you know, I'm not saying you use drugs, I'm just asking. No, I got All right, so why don't you go ahead and step out of the truck for me real quick? Go ahead and face away from me. Put your hands back here. I'm, I'm going to pat you down, make sure you don't have anything that can hurt us. Spread your feet for me. An inhaler? Yeah. You have asthma? Emphysema is starting. Yeah, I guess that. Oh my god, really? Yeah. I'm bad at it. Bad at it. I am placing you under arrest, sir. False evidence registration. I'm driving with a suspended driver's license. Go ahead. Go ahead and step over here, sir. You, you, you do understand why you're under arrest, right? Yeah. No. Uh -huh. Go ahead and have a seat. Have a seat. Uh -huh. Extend your feet out across your ankles. Sir, it's a crime. It's a crime to put false tabs on your truck. Why don't you get a moving permit? It's a... Yeah, right, well, I mean, I understand that, but permits only cost about 10 bucks. Well, his registration is, is is a few years old. He's saying that his wife put put the false tabs on the truck. He did, but I blame it on me. Well, sir, if I blame it on you, it's going to be a felony. You want to extend your legs out, cross your ankles. Thank you. You want to do? Would you like a felony? No, I don't want a felony. Okay. I didn't say nothing. So it's going to happen, sir. You knew about it, so that's a misdemeanor. If you're telling me you put him on there, then that's a felony. Where'd you guys get the tabs? I don't know. She walked around the neighborhood and found them. Oh, she found them? Oh, yeah, laying on the ground. Sir? I didn't. I, I don't know nothing. I wasn't sir. with her when she did it. Sir? I don't know nothing. I was born at night, but it sure wasn't last night. I wasn't with her when she did it. You know what I can do? And my wife is in a coma right now at Joshua Tree, so... So I can't get can't a statement from her? Me. She can't tell me. Well, I'll tell you what, sir. If if I run this serial number here with DMV and they, and they come up as stolen, guess guess what you'll be facing? Um, I hate to even think of Possession of stolen property. What happened to your wife? Why is she in a coma? Heart attack. She had, she had a heart attack six or seven years ago. She had a pacemaker put in. Well, the symptoms from that heart attack were different from the symptoms 
for this one, you know, so we didn't take a heart attack. We took her to the hospital. She died in my truck, you know, no oxygen to the brain. She'd been in a coma for a month. Oh, my God. Could you go ahead and put him in the back seat of your car, please? I'm going to go ahead and tow the, the uh, car. In fact, if you if you want to go ahead and transport him, he's 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 going through some very hard times. But he's telling me that his wife is the one that put it on there. So I feel bad for him, but I mean, he's had three years to to fix his issues. I got your jacket and the keys. I have your wallet. Is there anything else you're gonna need out of the car? That's my wallet. That's my wallet. Yep, it is sure. Well, um, I hope it's your wallet. It was in there. Yeah, well, my wife bought it. Well, sir, okay, you know yes, what? I, I really feel bad for you. I mean, I know, I know. Just, you know, I hate to be adding more. It's not helping me any. So. Right. I mean, I hate to be adding more grief to 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 your uh, to what's going on with you. But I mean, come on, this is three years. You gotta. You, you have to address these issues sooner or later, right? So, I mean, I wish you the best. Thank you. Keep your chin up.